Good evening ladies and gents. First of all, I hope you had a great Christmas and New Year, but we're getting straight back into the videos in the summer round. We're going to be going over all of the units you want to be unlocking. So this is going to be more useful for new players, but veteran players, if you have not unlocked everything yet, I'm going to go through all of the units, both unit tree and season units, that you should be looking at unlocking. I would say approximately there is about two thirds of the units which are fairly decent, some in certain circumstances, some pretty much all the time, but we're going to go through every Everything and I'm going to tell you what to unlock first. So starting off in the unit tree, the unit tree, everything here is unlockable with honor. Now you can get honor just by playing or using tokens, things like that. Really, really stack this up. This also will actually be used for your unit mastery, which is what we will go into at the end of the video as well. But there are some units that you are going to be wanting to unlock on this unit tree very, very quickly, especially if you are new into the game. Now, how this unit tree works is you have to unlock the rustic area to move into the feudal chivalric so on so on so on uh at the minute the golden era is locked but you can still actually unlock the unit in the unit tree ready to be used when the tier five units become playable again so the units that you are going to be wanting to unlock in this unit tree are the halberdier sergeants the imperial pike guards uh, the Palace Guards and the Imperial Spear Guards, Javelin Sergeants you can kind of miss, Imp Javs I would say definite though because they are really really powerful at the minute, um, but definitely these five you're going to be wanting to unlock in terms of the purple units. To start off with I would say probably aim for the Imp Javs and the... probably Imperial Pike Guards to begin with, I would go for those ones kind of first. Um, I'm not going to really bother telling you what to unlock in terms of grey, green and blue because to be honest none of them are that great but purples I would skip all of them, I would unlock all of them apart from kind of jab sergeants you unlock these right at the end. Iron Reapers you do want to unlock these pretty quickly as well so to actually unlock these you are going to need to firstly go through and get the palace guards and you're going to have to go through the imperial pike guards anyway so I would say actually pick up those two first just so you can get yourself up to the reapers then take the imp jabs and then everything else after that moving on down to the range to vassal longbowmen i would say don't bother with at the minute however i would say imperial archers again very very powerful unit can one shot heroes including heavy heroes as well which not a lot of people realize these guys are very very powerful so i would say aim for those wouldn't bother getting either of these though to be honest they're not that great uh you will want to kind of go down this line though to unlock the Shenjis. The Shenjis themselves are very very good and the Tercios are very very good. Pavis I would just totally ignore and this coming soon has been there for five years so I don't think anything is coming here for a long time. Going into the cavalry, now you are going to be wanting to unlock all of these at some point, however you want to be aiming for the winged hussars first, so to get them you are going to have to go down the quarterlies and the yeoman route and then unlock them, then I would aim for the cataphracts and then I would unlock everything else after that. Fire lancers are definitely the last choice here. Going into the heraldric, monastic knights. They can be useful, however, the main one on this one that you want to be aiming for is the Men at Arms. This is going to be one of the first units you want, want to unlock out of everything. These guys are so, so powerful at the minutes that you really, really want to be aiming for these first. I would put all of your honor points into these first. Get these unlocked as quickly as you possibly can. After that, go for the Spear Sergeants and then go for the Monastic Knights. And then that's that whole tree done. Rattans. Uh, I wouldn't bother going for the Ram Rangers to be honest. The only decent one on here are the Ram Marksmen. Uh, I wouldn't. I would say get the Men at Arms and stuff first though before you get get these. These are only really really good for the blue meta, which we're already kind of past in this uh, season anyway. So you've got a bit of time to unlock these ready for next season, but you are going to be a lot better off unlocking things like the Men at Arms and stuff first. Seasons then, so going to your season menu, you want to hit the F5 button, go to season challenges. Now we are going to start right from the start. Season 2, there is nothing decent to unlock in here, unfortunately. There are some really cool units in here, none of them are worth the unlock at the minute. Namcan archers, I would say, are probably the only thing that possibly are, but even them, I don't think you're going to be wanting to unlock them first, to be honest, because <laughs> they're, they're going to suffer against a lot of other stuff. Um, Going back to, oh, that's going to be a unit annoying, I forgot to do that every time. Soldiers of Fortune, Season 3, so in here, Fort Brasher, Pikemen, very, very good. Falconetti Gunners, very, very good. You are also going to want to unlock 
this stage because this will unlock the more weapon class for you as well so you want to be getting that done pretty quickly including both of these stages which unlock skills for them all for these i wouldn't bother doing to be honest conditories you will need to unlock these anyway they're fairly decent uh, blue meta but you want to be unlocking the fort brushes you want to be unlocking the falconettis they are both very very good moving on to season four there are a couple units in season four that you are going to be wanting to unlock and these are the Scylla Hadars. These are very, very good and very, very powerful. Again, not a lot of people realize just how powerful they are. And the Jannies. So you're going to have to unlock the Janissaries anyway. A lot of the Azabs, a lot of Scylla Hadars. Very, very good in blue matter. Actually, fairly decent in purple as well. Very, very good heavy hitting unit as well. So the Hadars take a little while to actually learn to play them, but they are quite useful in kind of getting. Uh, moving on to season five. So. Season 5, the main ones in here that you want to get are the uh, Ball Boys, so the Coconuts here, the Sigalia Militia, very very good for blunt damage against a blob of enemies, and then the Siphon Nori, they are a very powerful flamethrower unit, which if you are working well alongside a team, these guys will get you a lot of unit kills very very quickly. Moving on to Season 6, Season 6, nothing really in there to be honest. <sighs> They're, they're all okay, but there's nothing kind of special in here. I would be leaving this season until near the end. Season 7, Shield Maidens, very, very good. Berserkers, they're hit or miss. Femras, very, very good in blue meta. But again, this is a season I would be leaving until kind of near the end. Season 8, you will be wanting to unlock the Pike Weapon in here, but mainly you'll be wanting to unlock the Modals. The Modals are a very good anti-cav unit, and they are very, very powerful tier 5 units, so I would be looking at unlocking these fairly quickly. Season 9, uh, Outriders fairly decent. The Shinjis you can actually unlock on the unit tree anyway. I would say probably you can unlock these on the unit tree. And then when you've actually got a bit of time, you can go through the season challenges for them and pick up their specific doctrine through the season challenges. But unlock these on the unit tree, it's going to be a lot quicker and easier. Outriders are really the only decent kind of one to get in here. Season 10. Uh, I wouldn't bother with any of these at the minute, unfortunately. They're very, very cool units, but they're not overly useful at the minute. So I would ignore that season for the time being. Season 11 exactly the same as well the chevaliers used to be fairly decent they are not anymore unfortunately uh the alchemists and the banner guards just just not worth the effort <laughs> whatsoever season 12 moving into season 12 the huskars and the varangians used to be very very good the varangians can still be good but there are better units at the minute so again this is a season to ignore for the time being season 13 now the myrmelons are the ones that you are going to be wanting to pick up in here Dimitrios, you're gonna to have to pick up anyway to then get to the Mermelons. I will not bother with the Ritiari at all because they are not very good. They are definitely not worth the effort or the time that you're spending unlocking all of this. So these are the units that you definitely want to be unlocking in this. Not a lot of people play Mermelons, not people a lot of understand the Mermelons. They are a very good kind of shock unit which can break open formations and things like that. Moving into season 14, there is nothing really other than the camels and the chain dart and scimitar. So these two units are a bit pants. I would just do this to get the chain dart and scimitar weapon and the camels. The camels are a very good bracing anti cav unit, and the chain dart and scimitar is one of the most powerful weapons in the game once you learn how to play it. So I would be looking at doing season 14 fairly rapid. Season 15. It used to be really good, the Yonya Daos, the Crescent Monks, they're a hit or miss nowadays. Wuxing Pikeman, fairly decent blue meta. It's not a season to kind of start off with though, unfortunately. Season 18, uh, 16, sorry. All the units in here are fairly decent. The Ronins are really good in blue. Onomushas still hold their own in purple. Orochi Samurai, once you learn how to play these, can actually one-shot heroes and a lot of units as well. So a very, very good, powerful unit to pick up fairly early doors. Moving into Season 17. Priest Brooders, very, very good. One of the most powerful cavalry units at the minute. The Zweihanders, 
they were right. I wouldn't have bothered putting the time in at the minute, but you definitely be wanting to unlock the tier four Greeks Brutus at the minute. Very, very good powerful unit. And finally, moving on to season 18, the season we are in right now, I would say don't bother picking up any of these whatsoever. The blue cavalry is okay, but there is better stuff now we're in the purples. This unit is absolute pants, and I am not expecting much else from the Queen's Knights either, to be honest. So, what I would say is start off with the earlier seasons because the challenges have actually been cut down a little bit. And pick up some of the uh, season 3 stuff, the season 5 stuff, uh, and then just kind of work through. Mainly pick up the weapons, pick up the big heavy damage dealing classes, the Mermelons I really can't sell enough to be honest. But just go through and just pick up the ones that I've kind of mentioned as we are going through. Um, going back into the unit tree, there is a new system now called the Mastery Units, which you can actually go into through the barracks and just click this tab up here. This will then show you all of the units with Mastery. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into the Mastery, but this is all for you units that are on the unit tree there are no seasonal units in this yet however i expect them to come in at some point so as you are working through unlocking units actually aim for the units that have mastery as well so things like the men at arms palace guards imperial uh, spear guards the imp chaffs and work on their mastery because their mastery can really really improve how well these guys and girls do and it is worth spending the honor points as well not only unlocking units through the unit tree but actually unlocking some of the mastery scrolls which you are going to need to unlock some of these uh options as you are going through i'm going to leave the video here hopefully this has helped a few of you out thank you very much for watching any thoughts please do leave them below hit that like button if you haven't already hit that sub button Hit that share button as well to share this video around and I hope to catch you out in the battlefield.